Before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by May's Tree House. We just got this in the mail. This is the first dual functional milk frother and it looks super fancy high end. Erica's gonna show you guys how it's done. We actually have a frother, but this one is out of the line. Like this thing looks super fancy. And we just love our coffee in the morning. So it has three different froth settings if you want it just regular, a little bit more frothy, and then super thick and frothy. And then it also has different temperatures. So this is like the cold brew temperature. Um, this would be perfect for a cappuccino. This would be for a hot latte or a hot cappuccino. And then this is like the hottest you could get. Ooh, I like my cold though, so let's do it cold. Now. Yeah. The frother inside of it, it's magnetic, so it kind of just sticks right to it. If you guys want to take your coffee and your frothing to the next level, go ahead and get yourself one of these. The link will be at the very top of our descriptions. And once again, we want to thank Maze Tree House for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone, it's Erica. I'm going to be doing kind of like sort of a pack with me video or I'm going to attempt one because Patrick and I, hold on, he just texted me. Patrick and I are going to be going to Disney. Disney, Orlando, Florida, this weekend actually in five days. And I need to pack, I need to pack for Pat, I need to pack for myself. Well, Pat's gonna pack for himself, but I need to like double check his things, you know, just in case. I pack for myself, I have to pack for Kylan because Kylan's gonna be going over to my parents' house while we're gone, we're gonna be gone for a whole week. So a quick little packing video is what we need. First of all, to start off, Patrick bought this suitcase. This suitcase, I think we got it from Marshalls, and I'm going to be attempting to fit all of our things in this suitcase because this is gonna be our one checked suitcase, and then I think both of us are gonna bring a carry-on, and then I'm gonna have my purse. Um, but I'm gonna try to fit most of our things in here. This isn't like the huge full size. Like I've had suitcases bigger than these. <coughs> but it's still pretty sturdy. And it has locks on the thingies. So I have this. And then I ordered this on Amazon. I think it was like $10 or something like that. It's by Land, Land DC, Land DC or whatever. It's a travel size jewelry organizer. Look at this thing. We love her. Because me and Patrick both tend to wear jewelry when we go out. Um, and since this is like a fun adult trip and I'm not gonna be with like a child or anything like that, I can wear more jewelry and take the time to like get myself dressed and stuff. So to protect our jewelry, we're gonna keep it in here. It's really cool because it has like four necklaces and your rings and stuff. And Pat wears jewelry too. So this is for the both of us. And then, I'm really excited about this one. Wait, where is it? I ordered packing cubes. I love, okay, I love organizational things. Um, it's just that I also like saving money and I kind of thought packing cubes are unnecessary because it's like you're just putting things into bags, but it keeps your luggage organized and that's what I like, okay? So I got this set. I'm actually gonna look up the price for this one. Okay, these packing cubes were $15.49. You can get them through Amazon Prime, which is what we did and we got them in like three days. Um, and it comes with eight packing cubes. So I'm gonna kind of divide them up. So like half of them will be for packed things and half will be for my stuff. Um, it comes with this large one. And they're super thin and lightweight, which is necessary when you're packing because you want to have space for your actual things and not like bulky things. So they're super thin, lightweight. So cute. So this one's gonna be for pack, actually. It comes with eight 
different sized packing cubes. And then this little pouch. Yeah, I get really excited for these kinds of things. And then it also comes with like this little baggie. I guess I could also put like stuff in here. And another dust bag. Or you can even put your shoes in here, keep them from getting the rest of your things dirty. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of recovering. I think I got like a cold or something. Um, and there's a store behind me, so yeah. And then another thing that I got, well, Pat got this for me. He got me some Shein clothes, which I would try it on. Maybe I might try on some things. Um, but a girl is not living her skinniest moment right now. But I did get a pair of jeans from Shein. And I never get a pair of jeans. Um, these were a size, I think these were like a small, like a size four. But, so they fit me, they fit my stomach, they fit my waist, they fit, you know, my buns and all that stuff. All the good stuff. It fits everything good, except for they are way too long. Like they are way too long, okay? But the good thing about these is that they're already kind of distressed at the bottom. They're flares, by the way, because I don't like skinny jeans too much. I feel like they make me look a lot shorter than what I, I mean, I am a short bit. She's short, but skinny jeans just like, you know, and I just look stubby like a toe. With these flare jeans, they make me look a little taller and I can wear them with heels. Now, obviously not when we're going to the parks, but when we're doing something. So I'm gonna try and cut them and then distress them again because, you know, no one's gonna know. So yeah, we might do a little try on haul. But um, the goal is to be comfortable, obviously, when I go to the park and then to look cute when I'm not at the park. So let's see what we can come up with and then I'll show like putting them into the packing cubes and putting them in here. I'm not gonna do toiletries and stuff like that today. I might do that tomorrow just because if I do that today, then I'm gonna wanna do everything today and I'm just gonna overwhelm myself and have an anxiety attack. Okay, so I did decide to try on the outfits just to show you guys. This top was going for $17, okay? And then I got it for $5.67. And I got it in a size large only because I didn't want it to be tight. So I got it in a size large. You can wear something underneath. I'm not wearing something underneath it right now because this is very unexpected. Okay, but it's cute. Okay, it's cute. And then the skirt, it's a high-waisted knit mermaid skirt. And it was for $22, but I got it for $7.33. And I got this in a size four. And it's like a sweater knitted material. I don't know if you can see, you can see my belly. Sis, sis. But yeah, it's super cute. It's cute, she's cute. I don't think I would wear these two things together, but they're really cute items. The next item is this shirt. It's a little different, okay? She's different. I don't normally wear shirts like this. But with my makeup done and my hair done and with, you know, a cute pair of jeans or something, I think would be cute. And I got it in a size six, I believe. Yeah, six and it was eight dollars, so yeah. But it's cute, I like it a lot. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with sweatpants, but it's cute. I think she's a moment. I think I might wear this to the park. <clears throat> Next thing is this flannel, okay? This flannel, she's the moment. We love this flannel, okay? I got it in a size large. Um, I don't have my phone on me, but yes, I got it in a size large. And I can layer it with things or um, use it as a wrap around, you know, to hide the belly, okay? Next, oh, it's a mess. Okay, I showed you guys this, I showed you guys this. Show you guys this. <clears throat> oh, I, mm, I'm 
I'm not gonna show you guys this, but I got a pack of underwear and it was two cents. Two cents, okay? Yeah, they came in a pack of three. Oh, I was gonna be like, am I even recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay, this top. Um, oh, I need my phone. I think it says it on the back. Okay, I got this top in a size small. It's complicated. Hmm, I don't know about this one. Hmm, okay, this is what the top looks like. But I don't know about it. Hmm. I would need to wear like some sort of padding underneath. Okay, I remember this top now, yeah. So it's supposed to tie here in the middle. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so yeah, this is the last shirt. It desperately needs to be ironed. Um, this is what it looks like. It, like I said, it needs to be ironed, but I like it because it's not, it doesn't feel thin and it's like double layered and I don't need to wear a bra with it because I hate wearing bras. Um, and then the sleeves have these little buttons, like, you know, like a collared shirt sleeve. Um, but yeah, it just desperately needs to be ironed, but it's cute and I got this in a size small. And that's the last of what I bought from Shein, I think. The full outfits that I put together is gonna be on my Instagram though when I take pictures. So if you're wondering like what kind of outfits gonna be wearing, it's gonna be posted on my Instagram.